just unboxed the street, uh, Streets of Rage 4 LE. Uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on this. It's impressive all the stuff they were able to pack into this and it deserves its own standalone thing. So um, I might cut this one short, but look forward to the future for a separate video for this guy. All right, here's the last box. I haven't even taken out of the box yet, but here we go. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Uh, this came from our friends at Limited Run Games. And if you don't know, then you know. Yo, that is sick. This is the Streets of Rage 4 limited edition from uh, Limited Run Games. This is the Streets of Rage 4 Switch version of the Limited Run Games. That was a lot of a lot of words. I've been waiting for this thing. I think a lot of us have been waiting for this for like a long, long time. And they finally did it. And super happy for Sega for, you know, blessing uh, the dudes over at, was it Dotemi? Uh, Dotemu? To, to freaking release this thing, it's incredible that they were able to do this. Um, uh, also included with the collector's edition, because these were delayed because of COVID, like we ordered this stuff like a long time ago. So we got the uh, soundtrack right there, CD soundtrack, thankfully. Also got this really cool card. Uh, yeah, if you haven't never bought a limited run game before, they come with cards all, all the time. So you keep this in your little collection. <laughs> I've had I have like Shenmue three cards. Uh, should I unbox this right now? I, should, I think I should because I'm definitely gonna play this uh, and I'm gonna open it up. I know probably people are selling this stuff for like I don't even know like how much are people selling this thing for. I don't care. Streets of Rage four and Streets of Rage the series itself is like one of my favorite. It is probably my favorite beat 'em up uh, franchise easily. I could definitely guarantee that. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see how much these are on eBay right now. Because people are freaking nuts with limited run, <laughs> limited run games. Wow. I don't think I paid that much, did I? Ooh, good lord. <laughs> it's like $300 or that. I was like, nah. <laughs> this is like a Switch game. <laughs> so, uh, it is really neat though. Like, look at that. Look at the graphics for that thing. Uh, the soundtrack was really neat because it was, um, sorry, the, the, the soundtrack's really neat because it, it had influence and input from like the original uh, musician for the games, so that which is really neat. Uh. Oh, that's, oh! Look at that. Neat. That's a rage for over there. This is really well done. Oh no, there's like a bruise in the corner. What happened there? Oh well. Uh, ow. Neato. How do I open this thing? Is there like a... Let's rip this. I don't want to rip this. There's no tape. There's no tape, so I should be able to lift it up. Aha! Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is in this is incredible. Bro, oh my god. This is nice. I like that there's no nothing to cut. You just lift this and then Wow. Okay. This is Okay, I got to get this. Okay. So when you lift up the top cover, this is what you see. So this is a clamshell SNES, uh, Sega Genesis uh, box, like an OG box. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually really cool! Wow, look at that! Uh, I, I don't want to open it yet, because I don't know which, which one this one is. So this is another one? I don't understand, wait a minute. So this is the, this is the original size they came in. This one's a little bit bigger, I think just to... This one's a little bit bigger than this one. But this is like, I remember this is the size that the, the hard cases came in. The OG Genesis boxes before they went over to the paper ones. And, oh, I think the metal, the metal cartridge is in this one. Because this comes with a metal cartridge. So the game is in here, which is the, like the Switch 
There you go. So an actual Switch game like this, or the case, sits inside of there, and it has a game inside of it. So that's this one. This one houses the middle cartridge, like a stainless steel cartridge inside of it, which is also really cool. I'm going to make a separate video about unboxing this and seeing this. Oh my god, look at this. How many soundtracks are there? Wait, okay, so there's two soundtracks now. So there's the limit. The original soundtrack, and this is the exclusive track selection. Okay, so these are different. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh crap, okay, cool. So there's like two, and wow, this is probably one of the best special editions I ever got. Okay, this is a poster. Yeah, so this is a poster with Blaze and Axel. Wow, uh, yeah, this is actually, man, I, I know people hate on limited run because it takes a while for them to get their stuff out, but when they when they do it, they do it right, guys. I don't know about, oh man, it looks awesome. It sucks that it's folded, but you know, I have, cannot complain. <laughs> the new fighters are also in there. Uh, I played a little bit of this game already for my PC, uh, but I didn't really, uh, delve too much into it. Like I started playing this and then I was like, oh, this is nice. And then I started playing uh, Streets of Kamarocho, which is the uh, Yakuza equivalent of this that they had. Um, so yeah, man, this is sick. Okay, hold on a second. Hold up. I'm gonna do this upside down. Nothing falls on its end. Okay. Wow, this, this box in general, that's really neat. Wow. Okay, so this guy is the statue of Blaze and Axel. This is a taped thing, so I have to cut. And I'll cut this. Got all greeny here. Um, I think the other time that I was super excited is when the uh, Sonic Mania came out. So this is like the same level of excitement right now I'm having with this one. <laughs> Cut all the way. Okay, so we're gonna lift this guy. Whoa! Okay, more stuff in there. <laughs> Jeez. They packed this thing with so much cool stuff in it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we have here, <laughs> this is a turkey. A full stuffed turkey uh, stress ball. That went in here somehow. I think. Okay, then we have, oh uh, yeah, this is the art book for Streets of Rage. This is fantastic. Like, this quality is. Wow. You know, after. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Now, before I put my finish my thought, let me show you the rest of this thing. Okay, and here we have the statue of Blaze and Axel. This is tight. Oh, dude, this is sick. This is super cool. They even got like her earring in there and everything. This is like... Yeah, this is some solid stuff. Even the base is really neat. That is dope show guys. Good job limited run. Look at the detail. This is fantastic. Um, crap. <laughs> it's so, um, Limited Run just announced, uh, I, I think it was like this weekend, that they're also returning, uh, or the, the also, Limited Run announced the return of one of the, what do you call it, elusive games out there, uh, the Scott Pilgrim game. Uh, and so they're gonna do a physical release for that game. They're gonna have, I, I believe, three different versions, which is like the regular version, which is just the game itself. And then it will come with 
like a collector's edition and then like a roadie edition or something like that. And it, I was like, that looks awesome. But like, I'm not really a big, like I like Scott Pilgrim, I like the movie as well, but like, I'm like, I'm not that big of a fan. Um, but because of the quality of this, I think I might get the, <laughs> the big version, even though like that's like $140. Um, this one is, this is fantastic. I, this is, this is great. I can put this back here, like with cloud over there and like, it, like they'll hang out. This looks really sick. This is just, did you guys, you check that out? Look at that Street of Rage 4 thing on there. This is, man, he, he has feet. Like, this is really well done. There's not a lot of times when like this kind of quality gets put into into like a smaller release like this. This is like something you'd like this is this is how good this is. The Death Stranding collector's edition that I got was probably backed a lot, like financially, to have to put something like that out there. The quality of all of it, meh, suspect at best. And I was like, it's cool, but like I don't know, it wasn't worth it to me. For $250, this was definitely worth what you were paying for. How much did I pay for this? I don't remember. Oh my god. Um, just all the stuff that you get in it, like like the art book is like really well done. Um, and it's not some digital BS, like it's all like physical stuff. Like I'm so glad I got like two soundtracks for this. Like it's crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> um, here, okay, let me let me open this guy and show you what else we got in here. Now, first of all, let me, let me clean this crap up. <laughs> the quality of this right now. I'm like, I'm like blown away. Okay, so let's open up, I believe, the metal cartridge. This is really cool. Like, the amount of work to, to assemble something, this is a lot. Like, I don't see that much attention put into, like, higher, like, AAA game releases. This is sick. So this is the original size Sega Genesis cart, the hard plastic case uh, in here. They even got like, <laughs> that's cool. Like just having that is really neat. Um, on the uh, Sonic Hedgehog games, you can play two players, this is two or four, uh, or one to two. Uh, that little detail is really neat for Sega nerds like me. Okay, let's open this guy up. That is sick. All metal cartridge here. All metal? What? <laughs> this is like a like a Texas belt buckle. Complete metal. They even have like imprints for the screws in the back. And the little indents for this is fantastic. How the hell did you guys do this? Um wow. And it like wow, look at that. Impressive, guys. I don't know like what the hell am I gonna do with this? I don't care. It's just that is cool to have. All right, so that's that's this, the game itself. So if you were to color, if you were to buy the collector's edition, this is what it would look like by itself. It's this with this kind of artwork with Axel on the front. I think we had there's like a there is a alternate version of it as well, but I don't care. So there's a, a paper paper slip cover at first. I'm take that off. go same thing so this is a bulkier version um, if you notice how much bigger these clamshell designs are uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, only because like I said earlier uh, they're bigger because they have to they don't just have a cartridge inside of it they have to house the actual like packaging for us either like a PlayStation 4 game a uh, case or a Nintendo Switch game case. So this one, let me open it up. There's a Street of Rage 4. It's locked in. Oh yeah, I wow, I for forgot. It has, let me see if I can pull this out here. Man, this is has everything, Jesus. Okay, so it has the, the metal, the steel book. That is, oh man. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and of course the game, which inspired this, but like still, <laughs> you can find this, you can buy this at Best Buy, whatever. Uh, but look at that. That's cool. 
That is, look at that art is cool. I've never held a actual Steelbook uh, Switch uh, game before. This is really neat. It's actually kind of slicker than your normal like Blu-ray sized ones. Sick. And so they all fit in here. That is ingenious, guys. I don't know what else to say. Is there like a du dual cover to this? Hold on. I'm looking through the... There it is! Oh man, dude, they just kept going with this guy. Okay, so... So... Old Genesis fans, man. Okay, so this was the last... So the red stuff came after. This was like the later year packaging for this. Before though, when there was just Mega Drive, this it was black. So they had black and white. And so this is also included as like a print cover for this. This is phenomenal work. And it's like high res and it's like really nice paper. Like this this paper would last a lot longer than the original stuff that came out back in the 90s, <laughs> man. This is fucking fantastic. Man, kudos to to Josh and Doug at Limited Run Games for this. This is and you guys do such incredible work. Like I know a lot of people complain, like I complain sometimes cuz like I was like, okay, I bought my game. It's been like seven months or eight months or a year sometimes, and I understand the COVID thing hit, um, and and we complain and we bitch. Uh, but at the end of the day, when you guys deliver, you guys deliver like crazy, and I can't ever complain about that afterwards. It's like the whole same deal when like people complain when Nintendo games get delayed. Uh, yeah, you bitch and moan in the immediate time frame of it, but once it releases, you ne you forget about that. You forget completely all about that because the end product is so fantastic. Like, look at look at this absolute beast of a collect. This is just came from this one box. All of this stuff, and it it look and it's all like consistent, like high quality. All like, man, <laughs> I can't. I'm like stuttering for my words right now. Like that's. Oh, where's the, the, the turkey thing? Like, all of it. It's really, really well done. I can't, I, I don't I can't even fit the box on the table. There's so much crap in here. So yeah, great work, guys. Um, you basically, effectively convinced me to buy the limited edition of uh, Scott Pilgrim coming out now. So yeah, great upsell. Your your super quality products upsell you on your other products. So yeah, great strategy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna install this like right away on my Switch because I haven't played my Switch in a long time. Um, and it deserves something like this, definitely. Ah, damn, man. Awesome work. Anyway, so that's my pickups for December of 2020, the last month of a crazy year. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see what's more. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know how long this is going on for. 40 minutes? 30 minutes? I don't know. I'll probably split it because like this will probably... Streets of Rage 4 will be its own thing. I'm really impressed by this guy uh, and all the artwork that I was able to get and the Lego. Uh, a lot of great stuff coming around. Um, I hope you guys were able to get the stuff that you wanted for Christmas. Uh, I hope you guys got the PlayStation 5s and Xbox Ones and Series Xs and, and, and whatever shoes. <laughs> Is that what kids like these days? Shoes? Um, so yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to January 2021 for a fresh new start. And I can't wait to collect more things uh, for a space that I don't have enough of. <laughs> but hey, I like, I love this crap, man. This is my jam. Uh, I hope you have a great uh, time collecting in 2021 and I'll see you later. Have a fantastic day. Peace, bye. Okay, so I unboxed all this stuff. I unboxed the Street Fighter, I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs>